Okay, now we're ready to do some cleaning. So the first step is you're going to find some way of stabilizing your gun. The best thing that you can do is to come up with some kind of a vise or a cradle for it, like we have here. If you don't have that available to you, you can hold it on a table, but I would get a friend to help you out. It's a pretty expensive uh, gun to be toppling over. Um, the first thing that you're gonna end up doing here is you're gonna open up the loading port and then I always like to take a little bit of a rag and just run it right across in this area so that when I load some solvent on and uh, insert it, I'm not getting any extra goop that's uh, sliding down there and getting where I don't want it to be. Then I'm gonna take my swab and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add my solvent to it. You wanna make sure with any air gun that you're using a non-petroleum based product because if you use something that has petroleum in it, then you run the risk of dieseling, which I don't understand all the intricacies. I just know it ends up going boom and you get hurt and so does your gun. So we're gonna avoid that today. And you're going to go ahead and feed this through. You're starting with the non-swab end. And I wanna just point out as we have it here that one of the other advantages to our bore whip for those that are into competitive shooting or if you're just going to a regular range is when you have it um, sticking out on both ends, it acts as an empty chamber indicator. So the bright, vibrant color makes it obvious to anybody on the line that you don't have any projectiles that are currently in and your gun is in a safe condition. So I have my wet bore whip. I'm gonna wrap my hand around the end of the whip to act as a handle and I'm simply going to start to pull through. Now there's a little less friction to it when you have it wet versus when it's dry. I just delivered some solvent to it and a lot of folks make the mistake of they don't let the solvent stay on long enough. So the kids on my team frequently will ask me, hey, you know, how long do I leave it in there? So I use with them the soda test. I give them an excuse to go have a soda. So once you put it on, um, just go have a soda. By the time you finish drinking your soda, come back, and then you're ready to run it through again. What I'll do is I'll use the original one that I ran through that was wet. I just kind of blot it off a little bit. This is not time lapsed. And you're going to see that I could run it through again. And I'm just gonna keep doing that until it comes out where I'm pretty satisfied that it's coming out mostly lead free. So it may take two, three, four times that I've gone through. Then what I wanna do is I wanna get my second bore whip and they come in packages of three. So you're gonna pull out number two and you're gonna take the dry one and you're gonna run it through. So you can get rid of all the residual solvent that you might have had in there running it through the same way. And now, as you can see, it comes out nice and clean. I'm ready to head back to the range with it. But I wanna keep in mind, once I get there, that I've just removed all the leading. So it's gonna take probably 10, 20 shots before it settles back down to where I left it in the 10 ring when I brought it in. 